Welcome to Mount Allison. My name is Dr. Louise Wasilke, and I'm standing here on campus outside of the Crabtree Building. Crabtree is home to my department, psychology. And at its very core, psychology is about understanding why people do what they do. And if you think about it, if we understand human behavior, then we have the tools, both individually and as a society, to help people to improve their quality of life and reach their full potential. I think psychology should form the foundation for almost any career, whether that's in health, in education, or in business. And within psychology, there are several sub-disciplines. So students can take courses in educational psychology, health psychology, developmental psychology, clinical psych, addictions, interpersonal, I could go, the list goes on and on. My area, is personality and social psychology. And that's really about how everything a person does, feel and think is informed by their personal characteristics combined in some way with their social world. The other day I was walking down the street and I heard two students talking and one said to the other, hey, that other person has a really nice personality. And in, used in that way, personality seems to be something that is socially attractive. Psychologists, however, would not define personality like that. They would define personality as patterns of behaviors, thoughts, and feelings that really characterize or capture a person and what they are like. What I find particularly fascinating about the field of personality is that it looks at personality at three different levels. First of all, how are we like everybody else? So to give you an example, it turns out that humans have this emotional need to feel accepted to some group, whether that's a class, a family, friends, a religion, or some other group. And it seems therefore that we have this basic need or inherent need to belong. When I think about the current pandemic, we may be feeling isolated, but we could potentially meet that need to belong through our virtual connections. There's a second level that I really find fascinating. So maybe you describe yourself as being really extroverted, and that's supposed to capture how outgoing you are and how comfortable you are in social environments. So you'd probably have no issue if you had, were asked to get up on stage and give a talk. Ask an introvert though, and they'd be running in the other direction. So like other extroverts, you are really comfortable in that environment. The final level in personality psychology is really an individual one where we recognize the uniqueness that no two people are exactly alike. And that uniqueness really helps to inform the decisions that people make, as well as how they navigate that, their worlds. I hope this really brief introduction has given you a glimpse into the fact that psychology is about understanding the latest and looking up the latest insights about human behavior and using that to benefit the world. Students who take psychology, if nothing else, they'll learn about themselves.